Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Cyberpunk channel. Today, we're going to be building the real great unicorn Gundam. So, um, around November last year, I built a unicorn 02 Banshee Norn. Um, yes, I do know there's a recent premium Bandai coming out, but you, if you watch that review, you know why I don't buy it because my unicorn uh, Banshee Norn got some problems. If you, you know, if you watch the review, you don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, this is not the point. But today we're going to be building this thing. And then, um, you know, it's pretty much the same like the Banshee Norn. So we're just going to quickly take a look at this box. So, you know, this advanced MS framework. And then we flip to the other side. We can see some actions. So, um, yeah. We're just going to take a quick look of it. Now, we're just going to unbox this thing. Uh, I bought this for uh, as a second hand, which is why the box it looks a little bit of crumbled, but it's fine. I just care what's in it. So, you know, I'm just going to quickly take out everything and then, you know, we're going to take a look of every part and the instruction menu as well. And now, let's just take a look of the instruction menu really quick. So, we're just going to quickly flick through it. So, you know, um, it's intro. It basically has. It's the same like the Banshee Norns instruction menu, except the backpack is different this time. So they probably you know remade a couple pages, and um, so we can look at it like very quickly. So we can see the shield is pretty much the same, and this is a transformation part as well. So the transformation I will show you again in the review again. Although it's very annoying, but fine. Um. <clears throat> So we're going to look at the decals. As you can see, there's a lot of it. It's a very usual unicorn Gundam thing. So we're just going to take a look at the parts first. So this is going to be the... Which one is this? This is the Edge Runner. So we got the backpack of the unicorn. We got the feet part. We got some uh, inner frames of the legs. We got some backpack parts here as well. And then we have some... Uh, legs part here as well and this is the back waist or the front waist armor and down here we have the sensors for the unicorn gundam and then we have a a1 runner the a1 runner is basically all the cycle frames uh, in the ms so the cycle frames includes like um the shoulders part the backpack and then the waist part and the knees part as well and this is going to be the g runner the g runner we have some hands option on the top here and then we got some uh we got a lot of different joints for the ms we have some shoulders part we have some legs part as well a d1 runner so first notably we have a shield and then we have some waist part here and then we have some uh basically all the white parts for the Unicorn Gundam, and we have some hands, hands armor here, and then we have some kind of like a like this lower leg armor, and then we have the we have the legs part over here as well. And next up, we have a I one runner. The I one runner includes the bazooka, includes the B magnum, and includes parts of the shield as well. So basically, it's like a weapon. It's like a weapon part for this runner and then we have an e1 runner the e1 runner is um the back of the waist and then we have some legs part here and then we have the head i believe this is some part of the head and then we have um i'm not sure which part it is i kind of forget which part it is oh i put is this like the i think this is the shield part and then we have the shoulder part as well and this is going to be the F runner. The F runner is mostly around the small details on the gunpla. We have this waist part here, and then we have the feet part. We have the with the legs. We have the I believe this is the torso part, the part of the torso. And then next up, we have a C runner. The C runner, we have the torso parts. We have the part of the head, and we have the antennas and beam savers. Oops, and then now we're gonna look at the MS framework. So basically, it's exactly the same like the Banshee Norn, except the cycle frame color is different. And then of course we're gonna have a large decal, but um, I don't know—is it my 
I don't know, did I just guess it wrong or something like that? I feel like this decal sheet is slightly smaller than the Banshee Norm one. And then of course we have the Beans Diversity Pack parts here. And that's pretty much it. So, you know, let's jump straight into the building and we'll see you guys at the review. I wanna know your secrets I wanna be your lifeline So I wait for you, wait for me Wait for you, wait for me Tell me you're more than just a highlight Pretty pictures on the outside I hate to stare at you through these lights So I wait for you, wait for me Wait for you, wait for me Click and scroll, I can't let you go They say I'm addicted to you Click and scroll, I can't let you go They say I'm addicted to you Oh, oh, this ain't love, no, no This ain't love, no, no This is artificial Hey guys, welcome back to review of the RG Unicorn. So this is the finishing of it. Um, as usual, like the it's, it's pretty much the exactly the same. Like I said about the Banshee Norn last time. If you don't know that review, I suggest you go check out. I do screw up a lot of things, and you can and uh, you can make some laugh of it. But anyways, that's not the um you know that's not the key. So first, I'm gonna say though, compared to that uh, black color Banshee. This time, uh, Unicorn, of course, is white, and you can see a lot of, you know, details. And once you've done the panel lining, you can see a lot of details. And um, there's, 
There's one thing that I don't really like about generally about the unicorns. For some reason, in the sample pictures, the shoulders, like I mean here, they can close. But uh, right now, both of the unicorns that I built, uh, that's RG, of course, um, none of them can be closed completely. And it's just so frustrating for me. Uh, anyway, that's the side top side project anyway. But this time, I didn't book the horn and I didn't book the arms as well. So uh, congratulations, I didn't break a single thing. Anyways, let's not, let's not talk too much useless stuff. Let's jump into the review. As usual, starting with the head, the head, it looks exactly the same like the Banshee Norn, of course, um, except the horn is different. And uh, of course, the head can move, you know, 360 as well, uh, very freely and no interruptions. And it can move, lift a little bit of up and a little bit of down as well. So overall, the head articulation is doing a pretty good job. And right now, what you're seeing is the eyes of the Unicormo is actually by stickers. And underneath it, they got a little little clear piece there. But uh, the stickers just there so you can see it more clearly. Now let's look at the torso. So the torso, um, we have a lot of, you know, small details there and a small panel lining that you, you want to do. And overall, I think though, um, the torso is... It's doing a pretty good job and as I said before in the unicorn reviews, there's a little lock on the uh on the on the chest uh, between the chest and the waist, so make sure it won't accidentally transform into uh destroy mode. Um that, that's how I put it, because that lock is prevent the waist uh suddenly popping up. Um the cockpit is right at the middle as well. Um it's a little hard to, to open this, so um yeah, just give me a minute. It's a little hard to open. Uh, this is the cockpit right there, right here. This is the cockpit. I can't really turn it on. So this is the cockpit right here. So as you can see, it's hollow. There's not much. This is not an MG. You don't, you don't need to expect that somebody's sitting in there. Now let's take a look of the arms. So the arms, as I said in that Banshee Norm review that I did like half a year ago, um, I did mention that the joint on the arm is extremely tight. So I give you a recommendation and you should listen. You just grab a hair dryer turn it to the hottest and then blow a strike to the joint for one minute and you'll thank me later because seriously though it is very tight and i and i use a hair dryer to blow it for so long just to kind of melt down the plastic so i can move the hand like if you want me to pick one thing about this unicorn that i don't like is the amount is the tightness in the arms is just ridiculous but anyway this is not the point so first uh, the shoulder it can there's an individual joint so you can lift and the shoulder is pretty stable so if I shake it like this there's nothing happen and of course the arms is very uh, it can bend as well and the sword here you can flip it to the front but once you're in destroy mode you can flip it to the front more uh, the hands down here it can move as well um, yeah and then now the whole arms is able to move uh, by the way this part I suggest you just to um, I suggest you use the hair dryer to blow it before you turn it otherwise it's very hard to turn the whole arm is able to lift up um, 90 degrees so it's pretty good it's actually slightly over 90 degrees the whole arm is able to turn and uh, yeah just turn just turn your model carefully because you don't want to break the arms so now let's talk about the waist so the waist uh, is actually one of the part that I like and at the same time that I don't like you know why uh, the part that I like is um, it does give you a lot of extra details and it is very good and I must say that the, this waist looks way better than the HG one uh, you you will understand it if you have an HG unicorn but sadly I don't have one but I built one before but it's broken <laughs> um, this waist is looks way much better, but the second thing that I don't like is the whole waist part, the connect, uh, the connect point is actually all by ball joint, which means if you over move it, it will pop out and is it extremely hard to pop it back. So this is the part that I personally don't like. But anyway, the front waist, you can lift up 90, uh, side skirt can lift up 90 as well. The back skirt can lift up as well. There's not much to talk about. And there's a, even a hidden, you know, the hidden thruster in the, back waist here but this is for the destroy mode so i'll just leave it like that before we move on uh we do have a little connector for the action base down at the waist here um as you can see there's a little piece here make sure you push it in as tight as you can otherwise if you otherwise if you are making poses it will pop out now let's take a look of the legs so you know the legs well detailed i must say is well detailed well color separation and it, it, it got a lot of hidden gimmicks so basically i talk 
Like I talk a lot of things. I talk about it a lot of things about the legs before when I was doing the Banshee no review, but we will just quick briefly look at it. So the bending angle like this, and it can retract back. The the feet down here, it is movable separately and is slightly movable down here because you know during the joint is uh, stuck in there, so you cannot really do anything much. Uh, the legs is able to kick to the side. Uh, it's slightly tight, so you might want to, you know. Uh, be gentle with your gampler. Just always be gentle with your gampler, and I think it will be fine. Um, so as you can see, the bottom of the legs, there's not much to talk about. It's just a plain piece. There's no like you know hidden hidden uh, color separation or anything like that. But that's the unicorn mode. The legs is pretty boring after. But when you transform it, you will find out the frame in the legs is actually pretty interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll jump into that part later, but right now, uh, that's pretty much the legs. Now, let's take a look on the backpack. So the backpack, you know, the most notable difference is uh, it is way more different. It's way more different than the Banshee Norn. So the Banshee Norn, if you remember it, there's like two kind of like a separate armor on the top. And personally, backpack though, I think Banshee Norn is more interesting. This unicorn is like a very standard backpack. It's pretty lame, actually. Uh, anyway, so we got two thrusters down here that it is not movable. It's just sitting there as a as a decoration. Uh, you can do anything with it. Uh, there's two colors that have been used on the backpack. If you look closely, there's a little, you know, light blue and this is like a navy blue. And, you know, of course now, so the beam saber, there's, a, there's an interesting thing about the unicorn roll. So, when, so the beam sabers right now is actually, there's a little, there's a little um joint. There's a little like what a stabilized point right here. You have to push in, and the beams will spot will stop popping out. And I personally think that design is pretty good, and I and I absolutely love it. So and this is pretty much the backpack. There's not much to talk about until I transform it. Now I know you guys would be like, now stop talking, like just get into the details. So you know you all been waiting for the weapons. So. This is the first. This is the first weapon. So it's a pretty significant uh, beam magnum rival. Um, so you know, if you if you look at it, like, why is it missing something? That's the banshee non you do. Um, so the banshee non it does give you an other one, like a a grenade launcher down at the bottom. But this one, I don't. Uh, they don't have it. But personally, I like the design. Like I li I like this OG design more than the one attached with the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher just looks so so freaking weird, you know. Um, so first, it does have a little side handle here, so you can, you know, let the unicorn to hold it. And then, you know, there's a thing, there's a thing right here is, uh, you can take out the, you can take out the ammo. And then, you know, just put it back like this. So it's pretty simple, you know, not much to talk about, about the beam magnum rival. And that's pretty much it. And but the in but the interesting thing is just like the XG, it can put on several spots. So first, you can, of course, uh, you can of course you know put it back at the put it at the back of the arms so like this or there's another spot that you can pick there's a little there's a little part here that you can flip out and then you can actually there here's the spot you put it in there you go next up we're gonna introduce another accessory but this one is a little bit different so first there's four beam sabers on the unicorn there's two on the forearm and there's two on the backpack and they did give you this, you know, um, beam saber effect part for you to put it on, and that's pretty much it. So the beam saber is done, and next thing is the bazooka. First, uh, so let's just put it to, let's just put it this way. Individually, the bazooka is cool, but functions is crap. <laughs> you know why? So it is, it got the same ammo, you know, you can detach the ammo from the bazooka, but the thing is, it's sloppy. <laughs> It's very sloppy. The the bazooka ammo is so sloppy that I can't even put it back right now. Is this this is the this is the part that I don't like about it. It's so sloppy that I can't even put it back. But anyways, uh, it got the same handle like the B Magnum rifle, so you can put it out and let the other hand hold it. Um, so it can also st st uh, put it back on the backpack. So you just have to flip at the back of the weapon, and then you know. Find that find that joint right here, and then put it back like this, and you can you can put it out every time, and that's pretty much the uh bazooka, and next next up uh we're gonna introduce some hands. So first we have uh open hand, and then the weapon holding hand. That's pretty much it. No other hands option. The other hands option is currently on the unicorn right now. Is the um, is the fist is the fist hand, and lastly we have uh something very 
very uh, is involved in the transformation process is the shield. Normally, it looks pretty boring, right? Um, it's just a plain shield, nothing else, just a couple logos and a couple panel line and done. And you know, once you turn, so let's just let's just show you how to put it on first. So it's very easy. You just find this, find a, you know, find a pick on the arms, and then you just snap it in. That's pretty simple. Uh, but the inf but the interesting part is it can transform. So you pull this out, and then you just basically move the X out, move the five frame out. There you go. The transformation is completed. Now it saved me some time, so I don't have to go through it in the transformation process. But that's pretty much it. Other than that, we have some not so important accessory. For example, the pilot figure comes all white. If you want to repaint it, you have fun and do it. I'm not gonna do it. And then other than that, uh, just like the just like the Banshee Norn, it does give you the fixed unicorn horn. But I personally would not recommend you to use this ones unless you broke, unless you broke the the movable horn. Right now, let's get to the part that you waited for the most. I'm just gonna speedily run through this because you already watch it on the bench, you know, so there's no point for me to, you know, do all those details. So first, we're gonna transform the head. So transform the head is pretty simple. You just have to take off both of the uh, side of the head and then, you know, open this up and then take the middle off. And then now turn it around, turn it around close it back, turn it around, close it back, and then now just put it back, put the pieces flip aside, and then put it back on. And you know, now you're gonna wait for the most interesting part. We're gonna open up the horn. Ta-da! That's, that's how the head transforms. Next, we're gonna transform the backpack. So the backpack is pretty simple. So first you're gonna need to flip up the backpack, and then we're gonna, we're gonna need to rotate to the front like this. And then now we're just gonna move the beam saver part up. And then, you know, and then here's the thing. You just have to pull out the side, which you just have to, you know, use your nails, try to slightly open the backpack like this. And then now here's the challenge part, the top. You have to flip it up like this. And this is how the backpack transformed. Now we're gonna take a look of the torso first. So first you're gonna little lift up this little lock at the back. And then you're gonna pull it up. Oh crap! Yeah. And then you need to pull it up. Oh wait, I haven't locked it completely. Sorry. I haven't unlocked it completely. Sorry. Just give me a minute. Ah, oh, god. It's pretty hard to move it. So now it's like this. Now you can see the cycle frame at the at the middle. And now, now you're gonna have to pull it very very carefully because you don't want to break it. You don't want to break it. This is basically how it works. So like this, oh God. Okay, so now we pull out the side and then we're gonna need to flip down the front of the torso. Oh, and then you just basically do it at the same other side. And then we're gonna have to lift up this little piece at the side here. And boom, that's how the transformation done. You just did it, you just do the same thing to the other side. And now for the arms, it's pretty simple. First, we're gonna start with the shoulders and then basically you just, Need to flip down the thrusters and then let it reconnect. So flip down the thrusters first, and then you're gonna reconnect it back like this. And that's pretty much how you're gonna transform the shoulders. And now the shoulders is done. Now this is gonna be a tricky part on the arms. So first you're gonna you're gonna need to pull this part out, which is a bit difficult to do it. So be careful when you do it. I'm just gonna give me a minute. Now this is what you have to do: pull out this part first, and then you pull down, and then just clip it back with this thing, and then basically the hands are done. All the ways is pretty simple. So first, the front skirt is just you just need to you know slightly lift it out and then pull it up. So you know use your nails slightly pull out a piece and then just let it slide. Just let it slide like this. Ooh. Why can't it slide? So basically like this. So this is basically how you get the front skirt done. It's pretty simple. You just let it slide. If turn it to back, easiest part, lift up, lift your thrusters up. Done. <laughs> simple, right? So the side part is a little bit difficult. So you have to pull down the, you have to pull down the side skirt, which is a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna do it off camera because it's too tight to pull. So be careful when you pull the skirt armor because it might be too tight. Oh, so this is the transformed legs because uh, uh, I was so pissed off during the recording and I actually can't pull all the parts properly. And so I thought I would just give you a little, 
little uh, finished result to you. So basically, all you have, what you have to do is uh, you unlock this two little gray piece down at the side of the legs. You pull down the legs, clip it back. This piece here, open it up, pull down, put it back, and then you know you just pull this back piece here, and then this knees armor will pop out, and then basically the transform is complete. And then you just need to flip the legs flip uh, the back of the legs down here and then you know adjust the front feet position pull out this two side piece armor flip this piece up and then put it back like this and this is basically how the transformation of the legs work and then remember just clip the clip this little piece of armor back on the uh little uh, the this kind of irregular shape armor here and then this the unicorn transformation is basically done and this is the whole transformation process and that's pretty much it for me though uh this rg is uh, amazing because in a small scale it contains a good transformation however the part that i don't like is it stands extremely well in ntd mode but in the unicorn mode it barely can stand <laughs> uh, this is the part that i have to complain and then secondly the part that i have to complain is this is the shoulder part because the shoulder seriously it gives it, it's giving me ocd <laughs> Uh, it can never close for some reason. I don't know about you guys, but my ones, it, it never closes. So that's pretty much it. All right, guys, thank you for watching. This is the end of the RG Unicorn review. Uh, honestly, to say though, I uh, I absolutely think the frame and the design of the Unicorn in this in this RG, the technology that's been used on this Gunpla is absolutely amazing. So I really recommend you, if you have the abilities, buy one to have one. But if you're someone that will um, constantly playing with the Gunpla, just remember, over, after all, this is a plastic model and it's a Gunpla and it's a PS based and most of the parts is a PS based uh, material so eventually uh, if you play with it too much, it will damage the parts so I suggest you is just to just you know have a control about uh, the playing around time because you know um, as I said, it's overall it's plastic it's easy to break, so just a bit careful, and then you'll have fun with it. Um, but I, but I really do think that the technology used on, in this is very good. Um, the comparison between the early RGs and this RG is they, you know, they give up a lot of uh, give up a lot of fixed frames. So uh, is that is you have to put it into pieces together. Uh, I think that would be very good and uh, it increases the stability and I personally think that this is a this is like a good upgrade. If you're really a unicorn fan, this is a must buy. Because uh from my from what I heard the MG1 is hideous, but the RG1 is good. So if you're a unicorn fan, this RG is a must buy. But anyways, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like in my videos and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in another gunplay review. Goodbye.